Today we have my brother's house and my sister-in-law, Jackie. Hi, everyone. She, she's going to give us a tour of their Airstream Interstate 24 GT. Jackie, you can give us okay. a tour. And we'll try to point out the differences between the two. So whoever is thinking about buying one, they can figure out which would work best for their needs. All right, so this is the exhaust for the microwave convection oven, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure. And then this here, what did we say this was? The water? The water inlet for the um, fresh water tank. Fresh water tank. This is the controller for the macerator, which I believe is down right here. Down and That's this, the same as ours. Is that the same? Yeah. Okay, and this one is the, uh, what is this? Your outdoor shower. Outdoor shower. Okay. Well, our outdoor shower is up here. Your outdoor shower is down here. Which obviously I have not used it yet, so yes. I will. <laughs> I'll get back to you when we do. But that looks good. And we've talked about that. Um, you guys have this? Yes, I am. So good. this is a hook up to the city water. Yes. If you want to um, hook it up. And then we said this was what now? It's the exhaust for your heater. The exhaust for the heater. And that? Open it. Let's see. <laughs> it doesn't open. Is it right? Oh, okay. What is, oh. Oh, yeah. Plug in for. It's off. a plug. Yeah. <laughs> Looks good for, to me. For shore power. For On shore the, power. That's, a, your generator is the same as our. Any that's questions, please ask my sister-in-law, Darlene. <laughs> oh, and the wheels. Sorry, I forgot the wheels. So the biggest difference, we have um, dual wheels. Dual wheels. So there's there's four wheels in the back. They have two. So it would be more costly to replace and hard <laughs> yes. to put the air in, but we'll figure that out too. So we'll go to the back. Okay. What's the difference? So we have four sensors back here, which is similar to the 19, I believe. The yes. difference mm -hmm. is the camera. We have two cameras here. Yeah. The 19 only has one. And this is for the rear view um, backup system. Uh, and lift this up, there's a lot of storage space. Supposedly, you can fit, I believe, two or three suitcases back. Wow. Here. Okay, so the other difference is we have extra storage space on the side here. Um, if our wonderful wow. cameraman can come in and show it. Right here, look at this, honey. We have this on each side, so sort of a, a cubby, a recessed cubby. And we have this area down here. Do you guys have this? We don't have that. Okay. We, we don't have this whole section. We don't have it. So we have this on each side so you can store little gadgets, tools, whatever you need. So in terms of storage space, it's really nice. Yes, so, so much room. Over here is the electrical outlet. And you guys have the same thing, right? We have Ellie? the same thing. Okay. We so, just don't have this. So, okay, <laughs> I don't so know what this is. No. This is the cable hookup and you guys do have one. Yes, it's on the side where um, the macerator controller is, but yours is separately over here. Yeah, which is cool because you could um, plug in and watch TV outside yeah. or listen to the music outside. Sorry, yeah. just plug That's it true. in. Haven't yeah. used that yet either. Okay. Oh, wait, here. Oh, it's just <laughs> for propane. Oh, to fill propane. Well, we haven't done that either, but there you go. So <laughs> propane, that's helpful. Yeah. We have okay, this now. camera here, it shows the blind spot, the whole side oh. of the van. You guys have one, but yours is Underneath, at the bottom. Yeah. So and it only it show shows just a little, a little bit. Side. Yeah. And it makes sense because this is longer, so for safety reasons, yep. you want to mm -hmm. be able to have that so you can see when you're signaling. Yep. Okay. All right, now we're gonna go take a look at the inside. By the way, we named ours Elmo, and theirs is Bam Bam. Yeah. So I'm excited for future adventures of Elmo oh, and Bam Bam El together. Elmo and Bam Bam. And it's and automatic, yeah. just like the 19. We have the screen door, just like the 19. However, the one thing on the 19 that I love, love, love that we do not have, the there is an opening here, so you have all of this free space between the sink area and the outside. And theirs is a 2022 model, by the way. Ours is a 2021. I wish we had that, but we don't. So maybe we can retrofit later. Now, come on in. So this is the control panel. I'm gonna turn on the lights so everyone can see. So this control panel controls everything in the RV. And from what I've been told, this is based on Firefly. The 19 is the C zone. So what's nice about the Firefly, 
we can control everything through our phone, which has been awesome. So over here, so this that. is the main control panel, the brain of Elmo, if you want to call it that. So ours is here, and in yours, Darlene? Ours in the back by the bed. So this shows you your, your heater and your water pump and controls the lights, it does everything else. And that's up here. here this is a, one big difference between the 19 and the 24. We have an extra workstation. We have an extra TV here. So we have total two TVs. I'll show you the other one later, but this is the first. This table can come undone and be put in the back if you'd rather eat in the back. But this is an extra workstation. These oh. chairs swivel around. So if you want to do your work up here or have a cup of coffee, nice. it can swivel all around, both of them. And that way you can work at the workstation or have a cup of coffee cup of, or, or we or can tea. sit and gossip <laughs> or do whatever we want to do and watch yeah. TV. It's I know. very it's lovely. It's very comfortable. It's nice. Yeah, See? nice. So much okay. space, Jackie. Yeah. So we're in the cockpit. The difference is we have this um, electronic rear view camera system. That's Which the, we don't have. Yes. It's so nice to have this. Look at the screen. It's nice really nice. Big, right? So when we yeah. drive, we can see the whole back of the RV. And when you signal, if you signal right or left, the camera on the side will mm. show the whole side of the RV. So as you can see, this is showing the back of the RV. And now if I signal, the camera shows the whole side view of the RV when you're driving on the freeway, which is super helpful. And the other side, right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you're driving, not only will it show the whole side, but there is a light that turns on a red light on the mirror there to show that you're signaling. And it, yeah. will, it will beep if there's a car in your blind spot to remind you not to Does signal. Does it beep loud? It beeps loudly. Just like us. Yeah, it beeps ours, loudly. Yeah, so it beeps so really another loud. difference is um, the control for the door. Ours is down here. Ours up here. It's a lot more convenient to have it down here. I do like yeah. it down here. Mm -hmm. So when I'm coming out, I can just push the button and the door will automatically close versus trying to reach up. Yeah, which that's I, why I never reach up. Yeah. I just pull on the door. So yeah. it's nice to have that. And Jackie, what is that? We don't have it. It looks like a remote control. Yep. So it's not a remote. <laughs> this I know. actually controls the uh, suspension in the back that we have. The air suspension. The air suspension. So they have that. Pretty neat. We don't have it. <laughs> and I thought it was a remote at first too, but it's not. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> wow, Jackie, what is this? You know, I think this takes in air for the heater. But what I notice is our heater, we have a long panel. It's much bigger. I think yeah, you guys... Yeah, for us, we have two little um, yeah. openings for the heater. One come out in the front, one's in the back, but there's look like a regular home mm -hmm. so heater. Oven. This here is a whole closet area, so I love this. Wow. You open up. Oh and my goodness, you have look all at these the, shelves. all this space. These shelves can be removed, wow. and you can use this as a uh, coat rack. Whoops. The drawers come all slide the way out, slide huh? out. So this is really nice. Wow, it's the, so cool. the finish is very nice. So I think Airstream did a good job yeah. with the, the cabinet. It's very solid, good quality. But this holds a lot of space. So when we go anywhere, I don't bring a luggage. I just put everything in here and it all fits. Okay, so this is the refrigerator and then a separate freezer, which is different from your yeah, 19. Yeah, this is a combo fridge and freezer combo. So you can see there's a lot of space wow, in this freezer. Wow, my goodness, freezer. look at all this honey. A lot of chicken nuggets can go in here and last us quite a while. So yeah, that's so the freezer area. We have to go camping with them, honey. <laughs> and then up here is the refrigerator. And as you can see in the inside, also ample space. However, yes. Darlene, you guys, yeah. Yours came with these bins. Yeah, we Ours have two bins not. right here. Uh, yeah. You would think they would give it to us, but no, we had to buy these and add them in. And this is helpful. I recommend it. Otherwise, when you're driving, everything's going to fly right. off. Mm -hmm. Most importantly, got to have the sake. Always yeah. have the sake ready. And it fits right here. It fits right there. Yeah. That's it. it has room for a few more. A lot. Jackie. It has a lot of space. Yeah. We put a lot of food in here and um, we can go probably for a week or more with food without having oh, to. Yeah. Okay, so the sink area here is similar to yours. Yes, except inside. just the uh, design of the faucet aesthetically is different, but it pulls down yeah. the water and all that. The uh, the burner 
the lid in yours is different. There's yeah, a little cutout area little cut here. Out right we have this little hole to pull up. But also but two it's, burners. There's still two burners yeah. and mm -hmm. I've only boiled water with this because, yeah. well, we don't want it to smell. So that's that. Jackie, yes. I noticed that your counter height is higher than is ours. It? Is it? Oh, actually, I did not know that. Yeah, okay. it's higher. So, yeah, yours is a counter height. Yeah. That's actually a disadvantage mm -hmm. for me because I'm a compact five foot two. So I would like the counter smaller, but that's okay. I like that. It's, <laughs> no, that way it's they wider. give you more, more, more storage right. on the bottom. So yeah. on top is a lot of space as well. So when yeah. I'm cooking and prepping, mm -hmm. plenty of counter space up yeah. here. You guys have a side one, right? No, our counter ends right here. And oh. we have a little pull out um, counter on the side. But our prep area ends right here. Okay. Yeah. And then down here is oh, a yeah. lot of ample uh, yeah, cabinet show, space. Show us so the open this out. Here's the difference. Wow. This has a built-in um, uh, paper, paper towel, towel holder order. and a built-in trash can, which is really nice. That is so cool. So that way, it's you know, there's a little wow. area down here that you can put um, items like cleaning and supplies cleaning supplies. And yeah. So here. this is really nice. Wow. And then up here. You guys have this? No. Oh, but this, yes, is, this, this is for our sponges or for here. I was using it for knives, but this is yeah. another storage area. Oh, I didn't know that. No, you guys no. don't have it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because our counter is low. Okay, so there's more storage space down here, as you can see. And then up and then here, more. there's <laughs> a lot more to go. Um, this actually came with it. Do you guys have one of these? Yeah. Okay, so that holds your tray. utensil yeah. tray. Add mm -hmm. more things here. This one is a very deep yeah, storage like area, deep. so I'm able to put wow. a lot of things. And again, I recommend these little bins. It just keeps mm -hmm. things nice and neat, and you can so it doesn't organize. slide around. Doesn't yeah. slide around, and it just mm -hmm. looks nicer. That's all. And then down here, again, a lot more and storage space. another deep storage uh, drawer. So technically, I can put more <laughs> pots and pans in here. I just haven't had a chance to cook. do so. No. That's right, I don't. <laughs> but I've got all the things I need. <laughs> just and in case. it stores nicely. Um, I'll, I'll talk about the microwave in a moment. This is just more storage space. More storage, space. Jackie. So much storage oh space, God. really. Yes. More than, honestly, more than what we need. So this is able to hold mm. imagine we i have a coffee maker i have a salad spinner i've got mugs <laughs> i even have a whipped cream maker or whatever this thing the is frother? so frother that's Your right frother? yeah mm -hmm. so it has a lot of space mm. so the other big difference is the microwave this is a um pull out convection microwave it is much bigger than the one in the 19 and the 19 yours we only have microwave. is on top right yeah. it's on top smaller we but only just have the little pull out pantry on this side of ours oh we very don't tiny you don't have we a don't have that so that's you don't nice. need to you have a lot <laughs> but it's nice to have a pull out pantry yeah i think so and so the next thing i will show you will be the bathroom the configuration is a little bit different in the 24 mm -hmm. compared to the 19. the outside looks the same i love this little porthole that's cute okay so i'm going to show you what the inside of the bathroom looks like and this is a uh, combo bathroom and shower so if you look in here it is the configuration is different than the 19. the 19 i think is more of a square shape this is more rectangular so for perspective i'm five foot two when i step in mm. here i have plenty of space this comes out for a shower, so obviously wash my hair, do what I need to do, I'm okay. Now, my brother is 5'11", and when he got in here, all he could do was stand. <laughs> he can't do much, so keep that in mind. If you're a lot taller to take a shower, I think you would have to sit down and take this, and I don't know what you would do. I don't have mm -hmm. that problem, but that's something yeah. to keep in mind. You have the fan also. Um, the other difference is the, the toilet oh, yeah. paper reel. Look, this is so cool. Ours it's recessed. It's in. recessed in there. Yeah. And you just close this down for when you take a shower. And mm -hmm. I believe yours, Darlene, is mounted on It's just on the like wall. mounted on the wall it's right here. It, this looks a lot nicer when it's recessed like yeah. that. Our just hanging. You guys right have now. this though, right, Darlene? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we so have this the same is the uh, dispenser yeah. for the shampoo, soap, and um, body wash. Mm -hmm. And keep in mind the teak. Um, 
the Tika mat, mat yeah. here is not included. We both have one because yeah, we order, it looks nicer yeah, and we, we should separately. have one. Everyone mm -hmm. should have one, really. It but makes it's it look not like a spare bathroom. Yes, it's so it. much nicer than yeah. stepping on just plastic. But yeah. that is not included. However, I think it's mm -hmm. well worth it. So, what storage? Yes, yeah. a lot of storage. So as you can see, same, same idea. But we have one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six Let me open it storage up. area. And look, guys, it's a mini little rice cooker. Isn't that cute? Haven't used it yet, but it's so cute. Had to get it. We have to so get have a, ice, a rice baker. <laughs> and you can see it wow. stores a lot. I don't even have things filled in here. It's a lot of storage. The other difference I noticed oh, yeah, is, yeah, is the wood yeah. finish. So in the 24, the uh, wood finish goes the texture, from the outside yeah, all the way texture, through huh? to the inside. And yours, Darlene, is different, painted. right? Yeah. It's painted. It just painted so it's here. just one minor detail yeah, no texture. of a difference. So I'll close this. And this is just on one side. It's, it's like an airplane. It's like an airplane. It is. <laughs> this is the biggest storage area back here. So as you can see, it is super wide and super deep. So you can... Um, actually store two golf bags back here if you needed to. You can see on the side here, there's a cubby way in there and there's a cubby on each side. And I have bags and I have blankets and sheets and it all fits back here. It's huge. So just to give you an idea, this is a uh, king size blanket comforter and this. I can put it all the way back there and <laughs> there's a blanket sitting behind there yeah. too so okay so then back here we have and you saw earlier this is an extra cubby hole storage yeah. on each side so when you put the bed down you can store your books or your reading glasses or whatever you need here yeah. and then we have this is a um a clothes hanger we have one on each side I think that's what it is. At first, I, I thought it was something you. No, use. I think that's what it is. Really? Yeah. I thought it was something you hang on if you can't get out of bed. I wasn't sure, but I think it's to no, hang it's, clothes. It's to hang clothes. I thought, is it to do pull ups? I don't know, but <laughs> to exercise. it's nice. And that's there. Okay, more storage. Here. I forgot. More storage. <laughs> this one, um, again, more storage. Oh, and. This, my husband came up with this idea, sort of dead space, so he decided to take the uh, all the remotes and he just Velcros it here. Which, good idea, good idea. Yeah, yeah, so when we drive around, it doesn't move it around. Is, mm -hmm. And then this last storage here, right there. So, so how many people can you sit back here? Seven, so that's the difference. The 19, how many people can fit in the 19? Four, two in the front, two in the back. Yeah, we like can it. fit seven. So there are seat oh, belts wow. that we just tucked away because it's just easier. But uh, there's yeah. three here and two, one on each side. And yours, this we space is these. not usable. Yeah. yeah, I didn't and, know that. Oh, and the back side right here, we don't have the headrest. That I did not it, it, it know. It's just all flat right here. But we do have... Um, the shoulder seat belts, and I don't think you have the shoulder seat belts. No. Yours just ours um, is the lap, the lap. Oh, belt, right. And our yeah. bed is bigger. This yes. is more Yours similar. Like a king size, it's right? a king yeah. size bed. I forgot. Yeah. So if you need to get a mattress topper, mm. I recommend getting a king size and then just cutting Cut it, it in size. half, mm -hmm. like we did to store in the back. Mm -hmm. And then we have these little. I don't know what you call this lumps? stitched lumps. We have extra lumps in our <laughs> right RV. Too. Yeah, and that's to be too. more cushion. That's the better word. Right, we have right. cushion and it's it's um, stitched in. However, I have to say, for sitting purposes, it's I nice, see huh? it's comfortable. Yeah. But when you put it down in a bed, um, you feel this lump. I'm huh? separated from my husband. <laughs> but the right. lump puts me over here <laughs> and, and my husband over here. <laughs> so the lumps just separate us. So I don't know if that's good or bad, but yep. So that's the difference there. But that's there. why you have the, the mattress topper. topper. So yes. it just even out everything. Yeah, so, so I'm gonna so show you how we convert the um, seating area into our lovely king size bed. So I'm pushing the button and first, the lounge area goes all the way flat down. Okay, and then the two ottomans come together like this. All with the push of a button. And nice. we have plenty of yep. room in this bed. So if we look lie down, so you can see. Look at all the space. Yes. You yeah. can probably fit 
and two <laughs> two more people if you if you have children you yeah. can fit a lot of people a here. family of four uh, yeah. with two kids a right lot here. of space yeah and then earlier i talked about the lumps right so that's yes. the only bad thing is yeah. the lumps you lie here and you're kind of confined in this area if i scoot in the middle my husband has yeah, in the middle yeah. mm -hmm. we're, we're on the lumps so it's yeah. not it's not very comfortable now if you are taller six feet six two and you need more space vertically there mm -hmm. is an extension that is included it's a leather piece just like this and it connects back here so now you've uh, have a increased bed, huh? yeah you've increased the bed wow. size and you have much more room mm -hmm. and the other thing my husband and I were playing around with which way to sleep again because we're both petite we can lie this way or yeah same with us we go this way yeah so that we and we can lie this way <laughs> and i don't yeah, know why yeah, i would lie look. this way but look <laughs> and you can, have room. and now you can fit i don't yeah. know many more kids here if you wanted to three more kids yeah and look at <laughs> i still have my toes don't even yeah. reach to the I end know. of it so yep this is mm -hmm. the one advantage of being petite Good things do come in small packages. Yes. <laughs> that is a fact. So the other difference, earlier I mentioned in the 19, this whole area is open and there's screen. So when you're standing inside looking out, everything is open space. Down mm -hmm. here, Darlene was able to personalize the RV and put some nice decorative some items. We stuff. don't have this. Yeah. So that's one thing I wish for. And I was telling Airstream, I hope you're listening, make this change right now ASAP for us. <laughs> And other than that, that's the difference between the 24 and the 19. And hopefully this video will help those of you out there deciding between the two, yeah. which one mm -hmm. would best fit your needs. But for us, we love the 24, but I also love the I 19. Know. We love the 19, but we love the storage of the 24.